Hey guys, it's Who Dat Dare One, aka Nate. This is an unboxing video of a uh, tree farog USB 2.0 temp port hub. Uh, main reason why I got this is because it seems like nowadays I have so much USB related crap in my office. It's getting to the point of being stupid. Uh, right now, uh, my laptop only has about four USB ports. They're all loaded with stuff. And uh, lately, a lot of my vendors, they've been releasing uh, USB thumb drives and uh, for the catalogs and stuff like that. And in addition to that, I also have thumb drives and miscellaneous products that really shouldn't be physically on my laptop anyhow, like my camera for instance, and my speakers and, and stuff like that. So I decided it was finally time that invest in a, in a hub and uh, see what happens. So I um, went down to London Drugs and it was $34.99 for this little guy. And uh, the nice thing about this is that it's... Uh, not only can run as a bus, which means I can just plug it in to my USB ports and it'll work, but it also has a power supply with it as well, which is really nice. So I can actually plug it in and not have to worry about uh, higher amperage drawing uh, products, um, which I plan on getting in the future, like a USB fridge and, and stuff like that. And you guys can laugh now, that's fine, but I do want one. But anyhow, so, uh, when I first looked at it, I was pretty impressed, actually, at the fact that there's very little in terms of packaging on this little guy. Um, there's very little paper product, um, and that's one thing I absolutely hate about electronics, is they overpack them with crap, and I find it wasteful. But I've already opened this up once before, and I had it plugged in, making sure it was working and stuff like that. Uh, mostly because I needed it today because I bought it last night. But anyhow, so I'm just going to do a mock open here again and pull the little guy out and stuff like that. So um, basically it looks like a little power bar, which is kind of interesting. Um, I really like the idea of the fact of having the USBs uh, pointing upwards because with the thumb drives and stuff like that, and with the way my desk is so compact, like there's so much stuff on here sometimes, that I really wanted everything in a row because you know facing up using vertical space by far the best idea whereas you look at the other USB um, hubs out there nowadays it's you know they're square and they, they pop out the sides or the cable versions and whatever they're kinda dumb but anyhow um, interesting little note on this is it actually has a little switch on here and um, basically you can switch between keeping just ports 1 through 6 on which is something you can tell from right here or you can have them all on now I didn't look at the instructions because face it it's a USB hub um, I don't really read instructions and this isn't really a formal unboxing of a product anyhow so as for the reasoning behind that I really don't know, but I found that um, what I did was I put my least important stuff under the four, which allowed me to just basically turn them off, which was awesome. And then all my important stuff was obviously on the first six, so that's how I was using it anyhow. The other nice thing about it is that you got all your connections on the end there, so you have your, uh, your mini USB as well as your... Uh, your, yeah, your mini USB and of course the barrel plug for the 9 volts for the power. And on the back, it actually has mounting holes, which is kind of cool. So you can mount it on the wall or on your desk or whatever. Um, Tree Frog really didn't think through um, the fact of mounting it vertically uh, in terms of making sense because when you actually look at the way the holes are set up you'll notice that they're both facing opposite of each other so reality is, is that if you drill a hole 
unless you basically put it in sideways no matter what kind of orientation you put it in really going this way it, it really doesn't make too much sense but it's got six little grippies on the bottom so that's a pro so um, what I'm gonna do is take out all the rest of the stuff here so another piece of plastic that always catches me off guard here so yeah it comes with this nice little L-shaped box and in the top we have our uh, wrong cable I'm trying to pull on basically got our, our USB to, to mini USB cable it's looking like it's about probably six feet long give or take and then out the bottom we have our 9 volt AC adapter for the powered side of little bar and then of course the piece of paper that I never bother reading and a text message I'm just sort of ignoring as well here because it's really ticking me off so anyhow moving on I'll throw all that crap in here and have a little fun alright so I'm going to set it up and uh, show you guys the finished product okay so I have mostly everything plugged in now uh, with the exception of my camera because I need that for the, the video right now so as you can see there I got the 9 volt adapter and then last but not least in the crappy light here Surely you'd be probably better off going like this. So that's it all said and done. Now um, one of the things I obviously do notice and I think everyone notices stuff like that when they do have when they use a hub for the first time. Um, you may actually notice your computer reinstalling a lot of the software um, that's in re that's related to whatever it is whether it be a printer um thumb drive whatever uh you'll sometimes get the notices down below that's perfectly normal and most cases the setup is is uh pretty straightforward if you have any of the drivers for printers and stuff like that and you plug them in it's usually fine uh it doesn't affect them it's just basically your computer is now just telling you that they're in a different place and they're still there and that's basically about it so other than the fact that I have six thumb drives on here and uh, I still have a couple more spaces for other stuff I'm actually pretty happy with it um, I'm really hoping it doesn't get up to the point where I actually need uh, two of these things but uh, I have to say you know like for the price $34.99 is not really bad price for uh, a 10 port 2.0 USB uh, hub and uh, considering I got it locally is you can't go wrong with that either um, there's plenty of products online and I say they're they're usually not as clean as this one so um, overall I'd have to uh, give it a 9 out of 10 uh, the only reason why I'm giving it a 9 and not a perfect 10 out of 10 is because it's only two days old so I don't know how well it will actually hold up but uh, I have a funny feeling it will hold up pretty well so anyhow uh, until next time uh, comments like share whatever you decide um, if you have used this product before and uh, are either happy or unhappy with it uh, feel free to, to respond in line I will respond back uh, even if you do a video response that's alright as well I'm um, sorry it's a little bit uh, kind of a shoddy picture today but uh, it's been a while since I've been on here so uh, stay tuned on my channel I will be releasing boring task of the day pet peeve of the day and a random vlog of whatever so uh, until next time we see you guys really soon